What is something everyone can agree is a D-move? Taking someone else's lunch from the break room fridge. Oh I got a story for you. Someone stole my lunch. Twice. So on the third day I brought him a pizza. It looked like a pepperoni pizza. It smelled like a pepperoni pizza. But it was not exactly pepperoni. It was pepperoni and cayenne. With as much cayenne as there was pepperoni. If you hear someone screaming music from the break room. We'll know who has been stealing my lunch. Nobody's lunch was stolen after that. Someone stole my breast milk from the stuff fridge. D. Better that than stealing it straight from the source. Cutting in a line. I was standing in line at the deli counter. Next up. When a very old looking lady just walks up to the counter and slithers her way in front of me. I figured I'll just let her have this. Since she'll probably die soon anyway. But the absolute legend behind the deli counter noticed this. Looks right over the lady's shoulder and says sir. What can I get you? Don't uck with the flow of the deli counter. We pay attention. And uck those old ladies thinking they're slick. Take a number. BCH. You'll get your T high N L Y S Lee said Braunschweiger when it's actually your turn. Ooh. I need to remember that move. Leaving refrigerated items in random aisles at the grocery store because you're too fucking lazy to put them back. I was at Target the other day and found an abandoned carton of ice cream on a stack of jeans. It was all melty and clearly ruined most of the jeans underneath it. People are a yes, comma. And those are the same people who complain about shit being too expensive. Uctots. All of them. While at a friend's house and they poop and clog the toilet and leave it. That's when you gotta throw it out the window into their garden. Just blame it on the neighbor's cat or something. Jews ex machina. Had that happen at a party at my new house once. I was stupid enough to not have a plunger. Luckily the pooper told me right away so I ran to my neighbor and the problem was solved since he had a plunger. It actually warms my heart to think about how everybody cooperated on what otherwise could have been a shitty situation. Not using your indicators blinkers and hence nearly running over a pedestrian or cyclist. Also seeing an animal in the middle of the road and proceeding to go straight over it without even trying to honk it out the way. Exactly. My driving instructor would never let me use the horn or flash the lights or do anything to move birds or other animals off the road. Drove me mad. Proposing to your boy girlfriend while at a wedding. This. How are there still people who think this okay? I saw a YouTube video of a wedding where the bride obviously told everyone to let one of her bridesmaids catch the bouquet. As soon as she threw the bouquet, everyone but the unsuspecting bridesmaid jumped out of the way. Immediately after the unsuspecting bridesmaid caught it, her boyfriend came up to her, got down on one knee, and proposed. The bride was smiling like crazy and obviously so happy for them. Bouncing up and down with excitement and clapping cheering. I think that is the only instance where it is okay. Edit. Here is another good example. YouTube link. If the bride's on board, then go for it. Just as long as you don't slither in to steal the thunder of the newlywed couple. Which is usually what happens. When you say something, idea, and someone else says the same thing 5 minutes later like it's their own. When you say something, idea, and someone else says the same thing 40 minutes later like it's their own. Best answer of the thread. Why can't you be more like this guy you slash guy? Not returning shopping carts. I just read about the shopping cart theory the other day and thought it was really interesting. It states that since everyone knows that returning a cart is the right thing to do even though there aren't any consequences for not doing so. We can determine what kind of person you are based on if you return them or not. The other day my partner and I watched a man get out of his car and put trash into a shopping cart that had not been returned at the grocery store and that was just an extra level of jerk that I didn't previously know existed. But we had someone leave a box of trash in front of my store's windows. While I was teaching a class right there, five of us saw it happen and then come into shop. I told my co-worker what he did and co-worker went out on a smoke break, picked up the box, and tossed it in the back of the guy's truck. A didn't notice and left with it there. It was fantastic. Merging onto the freeway at 40 miles an hour 8 feet in front of the car in the right lane. I related. 
when one is driving in the right lane and has adequate room in the left lane to accommodate incoming mergers from the right but does not make use of said adequate space. When car in right lane leaves space for merging traffic but car that needs to merge waits for the lane to end instead of taking advantage but by then traffic closes the gap and they've got to force their way in. Straight to the bottom of hell. All the way down. To the boiler room of hell. Taking up two parking spaces. Or leaving the behind end of your needlessly oversized pickup out so other people have to drive around you. If you own a big truck. You work for a living and you can walk, park that ship out in the farthest reaches. I love your logic. It seems many truck owners don't actually work though, they just have small DS. 1 stroke 5 star rating. This TV show is just not good. The actor has been really good in things before but this new character does not fit him her. The show tries to do too much in one episode and the characters never get enough screen time to develop. I've only watched the first two episodes so far but I would not recommend it. Pros. Product was as advertised. Did everything I wanted. And more. Patched up my broken relationship with my mom cured cancer conveniently fits in my car's cup holder cons ups delivered it a day later than promised so up these people not ups though i'd give fewer stars if possible but it's not which in of itself would warrant more negative stars they should give me stars in fact one stroke five stars any reviews on a business that say shit like they told me they don't do x and that's what i needed my granddaughter loved it 5 stroke 5 stars. I didn't like it 1 stroke 5 stars. Thanks for the helpful review A. Eh? Leaving a microscopic quantity of food in a container just so you are not the person that has to clean it. T leaving just a bit of juice milk whatever in the jug so you don't have to get more. I didn't drink it all. No. But I'm eating a big piece of chocolate cake. Mother rucker I need a tall glass of milk. And you left a thimble at the bottom. Guy at work was notorious for that. Use up a while almost all of my co-workers fancy creamer. Then, if she was lucky, he'd bring in a can of the store brand powder creamer a week later. You get fired for using other people's stuff at my job. They even put cameras in the break room to catch perpetrators in the act. We had several lunch thieves and someone stole the boss's lunch one day. Now it is a zero tolerance offense. The boss ate my sandwich. So I ate him. Sleeping with your ex and in the morning inviting her to your wedding. You wanna talk about something buddy? It's something D. Grayson did to Barbara Gordon when he was getting married to Starfire. Edit. Here it is if anyone wants to read it. Scroll down. Oh. And Babs was paralyzed at this point too. What a D move. Eating your roommate's restaurant leftovers. Eating out your roommate's girlfriend. Eating out your roommate's girlfriend's restaurant leftovers. Eating your roommate's girlfriend? Not pulling over to the shoulder when an ambulance is coming. I knew a guy that wouldn't pull over for sirens on principle because he was convinced that the drivers of said vehicles were just trying to skip traffic in their personal capacity. Needless to say, I don't spend time with him anymore. Burning popcorn in the office microwave. Also cooking fish in the office micro. One great thing about quarantine. I don't have to smell the nasty microwave oysters that one Mr. Butthead McGee thinks makes a great work lunch. Black. Fighting for custody of a dog just to give it away when you win. I can be chess. My boyfriend's dad got a divorce with his third wife and she fought for their cat. She won. Put the cat down a week later. That is pure evil. There really should be less against these kind of petty stuff. Like if you fight for custody, you must keep it for X amount of time. Could you imagine if it was kids? One parent wins then put them up for adoption. Shooting someone in the eye with an airsoft gun. This is why face masks are required at most places and if you ain't wearing one you are either dumb or dumb. Full masks under 18 and eye protection always. When she touches your D and it twitches. Totally a D move. Or when you touch her D and it twitches. Or when you touch her D and yours twitches. Or when your D touches her and you twitch. Of working on a group project. Thank you for reminding of 96% of all group projects I ever did.
You come to intersection and see me like 200 feet away coming at you 30 40 miles an hour with no one at all behind me and you decide that you just can't wait 3 seconds so you just go ahead and pull out there in front of me and take your time getting up to speed. I mean why? You're D. Or the people who merge into traffic and immediately swerve all the way to the passing lane so they can go under the speed limit. These people inevitably make me rage. I'm going a good speed, no one behind me, and they pull out in front of me to go 10 under at best. Makes me wish I had a cannon fixed to the hood of my car. Getting cut off in traffic is a minor annoyance, but if they don't give a wave afterwards, total D move in my book. Randomly switching two newborn babies at a hospital, so that they're raised by the wrong parents. And then when they're in 7th grade doing pun at squares and figure it out. This is actually how I found out that my stepdad wasn't my dad I was more upset with the fact that my teacher took points off because my genetics didn't match mathematically to my mom and stepdad's outcomes genetics. I explained to my mom that I got points taken off for incorrect math, but I couldn't find my mistake. She went to their office and handed me my birth certificate which I had never been allowed to look at before. Big surprise when the name on the father's line didn't match to the man I knew of as my dad at the time. I was failed on a family tree project in the third grade because I've never met my father and have no info on his side of the family. My teacher had all of this information and stated that it wasn't fair that I only had to do half the work as the other students. I also wasn't allowed to take part in several Father's Day arts and craft field trips at that school even though, outside of school. I always made thing for my grandpa who completely filled the role of my father and who I made my best man at my wedding. I was never really upset by it back then but I have memories of being made to sit there doing nothing while the other kids made things for their dads. That school looking sucked. Ancient Chinese general has to defend a whole city with like a thousand men against a full army. This dude was known for his tricks and deceptions, and was facing his biggest rival who knew this. So he opened every gate, every door, hid every person, and basically made the whole city scream trap. The enemy general decided this was definitely a trap and marched on. He could have conquered it easily if he tried, but he knew the enemy general was a trickster. Any other general probably would have attacked and won. The same general ran out of arrows, so he made scarecrows, and put them in boats. He then launched the boats in the morning mists. After the enemy spotted them, and fired a few volleys he recalled the boats and just collected all the arrows the enemy had shot. 